Hey, what's up everybody? Jeff here and I uh, just wanted to reply to this with a quick tutorial or if anybody's ever seen that and they wanted to do it, here's your chance. It's how to blend your tones into a transparency uh, grid, like replace them basically. Um, and it's pretty easy. So we'll head over to show Photoshop and uh, here's a picture of me right there chilling. And a key element of this is that my picture that I'm going to be blending in, like the example, I have a lot of black on it, uh, if you just look at the photo. And then the picture I'm going to be blending in has a lot of black. So we're replacing one shadow with a different kind of shadow. And it's really pretty easy, you just double click. And there's these two blended layers. Uh, this one affects this layer, so you kind of can, if I move this out of the way, you can see it starts to blend away from the shadows area. The opposite would be that. Uh, and then this one would make the opposite true. The other one would peek through. So we're going to be doing it with this layer, but you just hold Alt to split that up and get that nice gradient. That's pretty much it. And then at this point you can kind of tweak with, uh, if you wanted to get rid of like, say those little traces. Uh, but it does start to get crunchy pretty fast, so I try to, I would try to keep that as nice and soft of a blend as possible. Uh, this photo I'm using is not really high res, but uh, at this point you can just tweak it uh, with a, say, a curves, clip it to the layer below, which is me, and um, I would just pin it somewhere and then you can kind of tweak that curve here so if you can see that would crunch it this kind of flattens it out and um, since it's kind of destroying the color I don't know if you can see that you crunch it goes harder it's just the way it works so if you change the blend mode to luminosity then you have a less of an effect on the color channels so uh, yeah you can tweak it that way I think would probably be the smarter way um, that way you just can, you're not completely linear fall off of the black to the gray. Um, and you can bounce between it. Um, and then a key thing to remember is when you are, you want to, whoops, uh, you want to use the shadows. So this is going to look better using shadows with a different shadow or even something like that. It's just darker tones. Um, it's just going to just gonna work a little bit better. So that's pretty much it. Uh, don't forget to also <clears throat> like do some saturation uh, and general compositing too to match the two together. So uh, I'll do like some color balance. <clears throat> I only need the mid-tones because it's, we already got rid of like a lot of the shadows really. Just generally speaking, don't forget to do that because without that, it's just going to be a little bit abrupt. So uh, that's about it. Hope that helps. Peace.